If you're given information on a bank's deposits and reserves, along with the required reserve ratio, you'll be able to figure out how many additional loans this bank can make. Let's go ahead and work on that. Well, what's one thing that we know? Well, we know that the reserves of a bank are split into required reserves and they're split into excess reserves. We know that the required reserves end up being the required reserve ratio multiplied by those deposits. That is because the required reserve ratio is telling us the amount that banks are required to keep out of their deposits on reserve. So this would be 0.12 times 7,284. This gives us $874.08. So this right here is telling us the required reserves. Well, what are the excess reserves? Well, the excess reserves must be all the reserves minus the required reserves. And what's left over will be the excess reserves, meaning we'll have 2,760 minus the 874.08 that we just found out, giving us $1,885.92. That is what our excess reserves are. The question though is asking how many additional loans can be made because this bank is making some loans right now. Notice that the amount of deposits are not equal to the amount of reserves they're keeping. So the difference is the current amount of loans, but how many additional loans? The key thing here is that they cannot loan out of those required reserves because they're required to keep them. So therefore, the additional loans will always equal the level of excess reserves. Therefore, the amount of additional loans that this bank can make would be that same $1,885.92.